Hey guys, it's Andy here, and in this video we are going to be focusing on the Jewel Thief and the series parallel clip that I've made right here. This here is a simple uh, sheet of metal uh, used as a heat sink inside an old Macintosh. I just took this one piece of metal and I folded it up uh, so that I could make a uh, series and parallel uh, bracket. So you can see all these uh, the screws hit hit each magnesium core and that would be a uh, parallel setup. And these uh, pieces of plastic from a milk carton, I uh, use those in conjunction with these little brackets to make the uh, series setup. So I just have to put electrical tape on the bottom as you can see. Alright, so this is my series setup. You can basically see the um, positive and negatives are touching thanks to the clip and uh, screw. I use this metal bracket again to uh, just hold it all together so that it doesn't fall apart. This is my refined jewel thief circuit. I have two switches. Pressing both of them will switch from direct current from the batteries to the light and pressing them again will go through the jewel ringer to the light. We are currently running directly through to the LED. We're at 3 volts. 2.7 volts. 2.2 volts. And this is 1.3 volts. Now we'll do the same thing with the jewel ringer in the circuit. 1.35 volts. 1.3 volts. 1.2 volts. 0 0.9 volts. So as you can see, even at our lowest single cell we can still run this light whereas direct flow this will not even light up we can fine-tune the potentiometer to find our perfect state and this is it you see that sudden spike in LED output this is zero resistance this is the most inefficient and you'll notice that by the extremely low voltage and very little light output. And we just keep increasing, 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 and then all of a sudden it drops. This is your perfect spot right here. Play with that, it goes bright, and then all of a sudden dim. You want it at the bright, and that is your max efficiency. Currently across all four cells, we're getting 4.6 volts. We have a max of 12 milliamps. Currently the voltage on the batteries is 3 volts. Here we have the current flow directly from the battery to the LED, 2.82 milliamps. We'll switch over to our Jewel Thief. Now the batteries are at 2.28 volts. We've gone from 2.2 to 1 milliamp. So we've halved our current flow. Directly from the battery to the LED, we're getting 1.13 milliamps. Through the Jewel Thief, we're only getting 0 0.88 milliamps. This is a good example of why it's nice to have a Jewel Thief when testing batteries or running a circuit that you have uh, power restrictions. Next, I'm going to show you how to charge a battery using a Jewel Thief and an LED. I have here a battery from uh, an old helicopter, 3.7 volts, 200 milliamp hours. To charge this battery using a Jewel Thief circuit, all we have to do is put it in series with the LED. The voltage 
of the battery is being read here, 3.521 volts. We will turn on the circuit. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed and have a good day.